I'm a program manager on the SharePoint BI team, which was the performance point team, and then the orgs shifted like continents. Um, how many of you have delivered something that resembles BI in your organization? Delivered a report, delivered a workbook? How many times have you fulfilled the actual requirements that you were given, but they said, eh, it's not quite pretty enough? Happened to me. All right, there we go. Thank you for admitting it. That's the first step. Before I came to Microsoft, uh, I actually spent four years in art school um, trying to become a painter, which is completely not true, but this is the setup for this presentation. <laughs> this so, is good. Building credibility with the audience. I like thank, it. Yes. Yeah. Step one, establish trust. Yeah. Um, I thought, why don't we make our scorecards and dashboards just a little bit more artful? So given my deep classical training, understanding of composition and technique, I thought, we have a great opportunity to make a beautiful scorecard. I'm going to show you the fruits of three weeks of intense labor building the most gorgeous scorecard you've ever seen. So that's a challenge now. You're going to ask these guys to yeah. rate your work. Yes. If you, right. just, just a thumbs up or thumbs down. If this moves you to the core, let me know. <laughs> really? Oh, I, 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 thought th I thought that was pretty good. So. <laughs> clearly, clearly, you guys oh, are I missing need to the. I find something to throw at you. Yeah. The the postmodernist references may be going slightly over your head, but I wanted to show here that the scorecard is is really our canvas, and on this canvas we have an opportunity to do incredible things. I'm going to show you the next one that I built, which didn't quite take as long and lacks some of the intricate detail of this one. Um, as soon as you can kind of recognize what it is. Uh, shout it out, and we'll throw a monkey at you. Okay, we're going to uh, we're going to start here and zoom out because it's it's kind of big. Anybody see it yet? Hold on a second. So, I see blocks. This is a, this is a scorecard. Do you guys shout it out if you know what it is? We we'll, we'll we're gonna, keep we're, are we going to give something away for this? Yeah, I'm going to throw okay. a monkey at some. Oh, I got a set. book. All right. Who said it? All right. Somebody else said it too. <laughs> there you go, monkey boy. Yeah. So this hey, is hey, actually. So this is to hold on. So this is to help you, you know, be graphical and artful as well. All right. So that's actually very cool, man. I thought so too. I thought it deserved a round of applause, but apparently I got skipped out. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you guys are too kind. Uh. So this is really a scorecard, like for real. It's an actual scorecard. It's about 150 columns, and, or 100 columns, 150 rows. Oh, is this the current economic stimulus plan in action? <laughs> yes, okay. exactly. If you plot it, it looks like this. Uh, I think there's a movie coming out about that conspiracy. So the next question you have is, how did you make this thing? So I'll show you. It's pretty incredible. Uh, okay, we have a how and a why. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to address why. <laughs> the first thing I did was I needed a set of colors. In your scorecard, you have indicators. Typically, they're red, yellow, green. But we needed a little bit more than red, yellow, green to do this. So I wrote a little uh, C-sharp routine that iterated through all the known colors in .NET, which happens to be about 140 or so. For each color, I have the RGB value, and I generate a single value, this hash value, that corresponds to that color. .NET does that for me, and this is all the code that's required to do that. So we get this long color table that comes out at the end where the colors are organized linearly by a series of integers, which is kind of cool. The next thing we do is take a picture of the Mona Lisa and put it into the computer machine. Then we... Computer machine, back up for me. I, I've heard about these things. I don't know. In art school, I didn't really cover them. All right. We take the color table that we've generated, and using a tool, I used Photoshop, we map the set of colors, which is a 32-bit color depth, into our set of 100 colors that we pulled out of the named colors to generate a degraded and smaller version of the same image using only those colors that you see in the spectrum there. Next, we iterate through every pixel of this drawing and pump out the x, y coordinates and the value at that pixel into SQL. So there's the value for that. Then 
we take our color set and we load it into performance point as an indicator set. So in PPS, you can create custom indicators. You're not just tied to red, yellow, green, or smiley face, or trend arrows. You can create your own. If you want to create 100, you have to write your own XML and shove it into the database, but that's no problem. It's well documented. Then we line up these indicators with the values that we generated when we built our color table. And voila, we put our x dimension across the columns, put our y dimension across the rows, fill in the cells, and what do you know? You've got Mona Lisa, which is pretty amazing. Finally, I wanted to do a small piece of art that I thought Pej would appreciate. Call it out if you know what it is. Hold on, I got gifts. What was that? Oh, okay. well, I that hold to hold those. Oh, I heard it. Where is it? Nice. There we go. I'm a family guy. Stewie guy. Griffin, everyone. There you go. <laughs>